He's due to make six point two five million this year, and actually that's the average that Miles Sanders is getting per year on the contract he signed with the Panthers. He's the free agent running back who got the best contract this year so far. It's unlikely that anyone else is going to get more than that. You've got guys in the eight figures who did long-term contracts when their opportunity arose. Joe Mixon, Derrick Henry, Dalvin Cook, Alvin Kamara. Right. And I would say the long-term futures of those guys are, are in question. All four of them, short-term and long-term, their futures are in question. And you know what? Derrick Henry hasn't been traded. Why hasn't he been traded? Nobody wants to pay eight figures to a running back. Dalvin Cook hasn't been traded. Nobody wants to pay eight figures to a running back. Joe Mixon still on the Bengals. Who knows how long that's going to last. So the reality is, and this is something that you and I talked about, and this is on my list of things to get to, this idea that you had a week or so ago, some sort of a league-wide fund that rewards running backs financially in their first three years or four years when they're stuck with a slotted rookie contract and they can't get the money that they are earning then. By the time they get to the point where they get their second contract, a lot of them are already chewed up and spit out. For Austin Eckler, he got a second contract, but he's better than what his second contract would suggest. And you know what? The other side of it is, even though he adds a lot to the team and he's a key player, dollar for dollar... It's not the same value as a pass rusher or a quarterback. So running backs, even the best, who are key players on the team, they just get less because the teams realize we can find somebody else who can do something close to what this guy is doing for a lot less than what we're paying him. And I think that's what the Chargers are banking on. Yeah, that's exactly right. I think, you you, you know, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a market that, you know, GMs and coaches for the most part don't want to – they look at that as a waste of money to spend, you know, eight eight figures on the the running back position. You know, now there's value to it. We saw a Christian McCaffrey player like that, what he does, you know, for the 49ers and what he made them. You know, he's special. Derrick Henry, yeah, I mean, you can argue about it all that, but what? I mean, damn, he's the Tennessee Titans. He's the guy. That's where I think it's a little unfair too. You know, so, yeah, you just don't know how long it's going to last. But, like, we keep saying, oh, we don't know how long it's going to last. And then here's Derrick Henry. It's, what, year eight, year nine we're going get to get into here. But something's got to be done. And Austin Eckler is, like, the perfect poster child for this conversation. I mean, $6 million. He led the team in rushing and receiving, everybody. This is the Chargers. They were, what, a top ten offense in football around that? He led the team in rushing and receiving. He's making as much as Miles Sanders. That's not fair, right? He deserves more than that. I mean, he's making as much as, you know, as guys that are not even in the same class as him as, as far as a football player is concerned. So, yeah, good for him. I don't know realistically how much more money he's going to get out, get out there. Hopefully he can get something better, but he's not going to break the bank. And that's where it gets into... You know, Mike, even with this, even with Austin Eckler, forget the slotted rookie contract. Something has to be done for this guy, too. Wait, you touch the ball that many times, you get hit that many times, you know, you're that important to a football team, you play the running back position. I would love to see the league find a way to even give a guy like Austin Eckler a sweetener. I know $6 million is a lot of money, you know, but not in the not in the, the market of the NFL world. It's not. And... That's where, you know, again, it, like you explained very well, it's just unfair to these guys, the, 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 the blows their body takes, and then they just don't get rewarded the right way. Here's a little more from Austin Eckler talking to Chris Long about the state of the running back market in the NFL. What, what's your mindset on that? And, like, how do you feel like that, that running back position is being undervalued if, if it is? Bro, it's, it's brutal out here, man. Yeah. Like, it's, it's terrible. Yeah. As far as the running back market and how we're getting treated right now. Yeah. Um, and look, I get it. Like, I, I 100% get it. Like, there is more risk within paying running backs. But when you have a running back that makes it through the season, is able to contribute, like, it's so much value to your team and gives you so much more depth to what you yeah. can do as an offense um, that, like, it's like there's more value than what I think has been given out to, um, you know, some of these guys you talk about get franchised. Um, and so... It's also been unfortunate because of some of the bigger injuries to some of these guys. And so I get it, you know, and I've been I've been thinking about ways I'm like, man, is it like a different 
Is it like, is it like, what is it like shorter contracts? Like, what do we got to do to get paid as running backs to our actual value and not just be getting like, you know, a few mil when we're out here? Like I said, literally scored 20 touchdowns last year, 1600 all purpose yards, right? Like, and I can't get an extension. You're like, you don't want me here? Like, yeah. like <laughs> wait a minute, I'm, am I missing something here? I'm, like, what am I missing? So it, it's confusing and frustrating at the same time. Well, and here's the other side of it. We sympathize with the plight. We believe that there should be something baked into the system to reward these guys as they are playing early in their careers and generating that yardage and getting very low contracts. But the teams just don't value the position. They look at it and say, if it's not him doing it, it will be someone else. We'll find someone else. We can find a running back anywhere. The supply outweighs the demand. That's the basic problem. That's That's why running backs don't get more money. There are too many guys who can run the ball effectively. If all of a sudden the well of running backs dried up and there weren't any, they would be getting paid more. Not every team would have a great running back. I mean, look at it this way, Chris. He's been available to shop himself in trade. Where where, where no, has been a single report of any team interested in trading for Austin Eckler and giving him the contract he wants? It's not going to happen. No, I feel not. bad for him. But he needs to understand, and this goes back to Ben Tate, the former Auburn running back who played for the Texans and other teams. He eventually said, if I had to do it all over again, I'd play a different position. That is the message. Don't let your babies grow up to be running backs. Find a different position for these great athletes, best athlete on the field, arguably, when they're young. Just give the ball to him. It's easy to be a football coach of a bunch of nine-year-olds when you just give the ball to the best athlete on the field and off he goes and nobody can touch him. And you get pigeonholed into that position and it never changes. When you're coming up through the ranks, you've got to be willing to say, I'm the best athlete on the team. Here's the position that I'm going to play. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, Agreed. I think it is happening, but it, it's going to be a tough thing to, you know, bake out of the system. You know, again, still there because there's going to be that awesome athlete just going to go, wait, I want I want to be running back. I want the ball all the time. Give me the ball. But yeah, it, it's a it's a important career decision that football players who believe they have a future to maybe go to the NFL have to think about a little bit. Yeah. Austin Eckler, if he was a slot receiver, he'd be in a totally different position right now than what he is. You know, we're seeing we're in an era where only the special running backs get paid. And even with that, after two or three years of them being paid, the team started to go, whoa, wait, oh, I don't know. Maybe we could find a, a less expensive option. And then you explained it right, too. I mean, the market's flooded with these guys. You know, yeah, okay, hey, here's Austin Eckler who can run up the middle on this play for six yards. Okay, well, if we don't have a guy as good as him, okay, so we got four and a half, five yards. Okay, that's still not the worst, you know. Oh, wait, he's awesome at catching the ball out of the backfield. Well, we'll find a way to, you know, get some of those plays, but we'll use our slot receiver now and do that. And that's where they've become, you know, a hair expendable from that conversation of what we're talking about. So it's a it's a in-depth conversation we're having here, and, and there's a lot to flush out. But at the end of the day, yeah, we'd like to see them compensated more, but – you know, you certainly understand the logic of NFL football teams who are running a business and people's asses are on the line and why they don't want to give money out to that position. It's it's a tough one. It's supply, it's demand, and it's the reality that the injury rate is so much higher. And it's not because of the player, it's because of the position. So you don't want to have that one guy, the Sean Alexander effect, the guy who becomes the superstar. The guy who you have to keep. You have to sign him. You can't let Sean Alexander leave in free agency. Remember when the Cowboys did it with DeMarco Murray? He set the franchise single-season rushing record, and they said, see you later. Right. And they went with, who's the guy? Darren McFadden. They went with Darren McFadden. He had 1,000 yards. He was the bridge to Ezekiel Elliott. Elliott. Speaking of Ezekiel Elliott. Elliott gone in Dallas. Ronald Jones in, which makes it even more likely that Elliott won't be back. But look, Elliott's available. Where's the land rush for Ezekiel Elliott? Where's the land rush for Leonard Fournette? There are guys out there, guys available in trade, guys available as free agents. The supply outweighs the demand, and here's the reality. And Austin Eckler, I mean, I feel bad for your plight. There's another crop that is five weeks away from joining the NFL with full tread on the tires, with slotted rookie contracts. They are the Austin Ecklers, Derrick Henrys, Ezekiel Elliotts, Dalvin Cooks of tomorrow. That's the reality. 
We didn't. He- we never heard of most of these guys six, seven years ago. Six, seven years from now, it'll be a whole new list of running backs that are trying to get paid while a new crop is coming in. That's the way it goes because there are just too many of them. That's it. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.